a great team performance in that. Uh, team stuck well together and I knew pay right for the start we'd win it. The pitch is sticky and that and it helped a wee bit of the rain playing. I think we've got the better pace than that to uh, we were fitter than up Dundee but Dundee were good as well so there's already at least a few of us that are already full time and the rest of them are in our second year so I think there's still talent for them to still push on for them. We've stuck to a schedule keeping in what time to be in for so we make sure we get a good sleep before any games or that so uh, the coaches play a big part in the way we won it. And one final word, you know, uh, taking the, the trophy from the legend himself, did he have anything to say to you? Oh, uh, he just said I played well in that and just tell him how that I knew somebody that he knew that lives right next to me, he used to play football with him, famous footballer, Jerry Baker, and his right. brother Joe Baker, so... Aye, so aye, it was really good. It was good meeting Dennis. In the end, it was a comfortable result, but I thought we were, we had a kind of slack start, and Dundee looked pretty decent actually. But we said that, and then before the game, actually, the boys looked pretty nervous. Uh, I think because they were so close last year in the semis, they were desperate to win it this year. But we tried to just calm them down and stuff like that. But in the end, it was a good result. Good result. So in half time, was it a, a cause of being a, a cautious or on that one goal, or you set out to try and build on that? No, I think we could have probably had more the sec, maybe the second part of the first half. Uh, we felt as though the balls going up to our front men were good balls, and, and they weren't getting held up. So we made the wee substitution. And to be fair to the other coaches, that what we decided ended up the telling factor because the, the big boy Dylan that came on held the ball up, linked to play a different class, so that, I think that made the difference. And uh, just a word for the, for the, the guys here, that uh, Captain Morgan just, just praised the, the coaches' efforts throughout the week. What, what could you say in return to, to the boys and their efforts throughout the week and throughout the season? I've, I've always said that um, coaches are made by their players, and it's been easier this week, because sometimes when you get away with young boys in these kind of tournaments, they forget what they're away for. But these guys have, have acted like professionals which is what they want to be and they've showed that they've got that in them so it made it easy for us it I think it. anybody watching the tournament this week will see that Stephen Higgins has got a bit about him has got a good chance in the game um, and Morgan obviously the guy at the back big Morgan at the back these guys are full time now they've been fortunate that we've seen potential in them we've been given contracts now they need to go and prove it in this tournament I think they did but there's other boys there as well we said before the game that um, glory hunters are losers Team players are winners, and they showed that the day, the, the day especially that they were team players because they were nervous, but they kept each other going. And you think this is good momentum going into the season ahead? Yes, because we're looking forward to it as coaches because there was four trialists up with us and four under 15s there, which is bodes well for the future of Motherwell Football Club. And we're looking forward to the season starting with these guys what they've showed this week.